Hey friends, this is Waylon. I wanted to offer a little discussion on a kind of big subject since millions and millions and millions, if not billions of us are, do this, which is the Christmas tree or the holiday tree. I'm not Christian, I'm Buddhist, but I still love a lot of the Christmas traditions I grew up with, many of which are pagan, predate Christianity. Um, and this is the first year I've done, I bought these like three antique doors you can see behind me. We're actually going to do some work on them and then put lights and ornaments on them. I'm going to paint this one more white and paint the tops of the trees white as well, as if they were covered in a little bit of snow. But every year I've done a live Christmas tree. Uh, a lot of people wonder, is live better? Is planted better in a pot, which I did one year? I have a Christmas tree out front that I planted like six months after using it as a Christmas tree. It was in a big galvanized trash tin and then covered with a beautiful flannel tartan blanket and then you know was a live Christmas tree so it was never cut down it was right here and now it's in my yard so what is the most eco solution um, and this does matter because so many of us do it um, so I got these three trees this year from a local craft fair because for me they're beautiful they're fun they're interesting. Again, I'll show some photos off uh, of them once they're fully dressed, uh, which they are not yet. Um, but um, I really like them. Um, they're in those Christmas colors. They've got some old hardware and I'll be able to, you know, put them in the basement or the attic off season and use them for the rest of my life. Um, someone could use them well beyond that forever, really. Um, I think that's a really nice solution. And again, I'm gonna dress them up so that you can hang all kinds of like ornaments and stuff, which are right now on my chandelier here. Um, and again, ornaments matter too. Uh, getting them from craft fairs, getting them from travels, trying to avoid a lot of plastic and throw away. More and more ornaments are becoming a sort of throwaway thing you'll see thrown out with the trash. The amount of waste and consumerism is just stunning. And it has a real effect on our otherwise beautiful homes and beautiful planet and beautiful air and beautiful water and beautiful health. We want, um, you know, our children to be able to grow up in a world that's safe and healthy. So here's basically what I think is best and worst. The worst, I think, is the artificial Christmas tree. Many of them are plastic, if not most uh, old vintage ones can have lead and the dust from them can be really, really bad for us. I think um, artificial, even though you reuse them, they're falling apart always. Microplastics, again, that toxic lead sometimes, um, I just don't think they're good. A live Christmas tree, which is hopefully what most of us do, is still pretty darn good because it grows for a long time. It's absorbing carbon the entire time. How we dispose of it really matters. If you can take it to a farm, a lot of times animals will like to eat it if you can compost it, that would be great. Throwing it away is the single worst thing you can do. Um, and especially throwing it away when it has tinsel and uh, ornaments and plastic stuff in it, that makes it impossible to compost. So what you do with the Christmas tree after the live one is important. Thanks for listening. Hope you're getting a lot out of it. The full conversation is on our indie platform that supports and continues our work. Elephantjournal.com slash videos. You can subscribe, listen, watch, and participate there. And when you do so, you'll keep these mindful videos and podcasts going. Elephantjournal.com slash videos. May it be a benefit.